All right, wow. California's on fire. It must mean yeah. summer here in the West. Danny's here, and uh, because of those <laughs> fires, we're dealing with the smoke here in, in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, and that video that we just saw shows that the smoke could definitely be worse. It could be thicker than what we're dealing with today, but it's still impacting our air quality, and it feels like it has for several weeks now. Valley View camera showing a little blue sky today, so you, you know things are improving. That air quality is still considered unhealthy for sensitive groups, and we still have that smoky haze to contend with through the next several days. Our temperatures are also warming. So with the smoke and the above average highs, it's starting to feel a little uncomfortable outside. 103 right now at McCarran, 105 for Nellis and North Las Vegas, 104 for West Henderson, 99 in Summerlin. And through the remainder of your Wednesday night, we do see those clear skies above the layer of haze and smoke. So at times seeing a little sunshine, but it's still pretty hazy. The breeze will continue this evening. It's not an impactful wind, but it is a noticeable wind. So you will feel that breeze picking up gusts to 20, 25 miles per hour. That will settle down after the sunsets tonight. We expect triple digit temperatures through dinner time. The desert Doppler is dry. The satellite is mostly clear. We've seen a couple clouds drift in and out today, but nothing too serious. The main feature in the forecast here is that southwest wind dragging in the smoke and with those wildfires spreading up and down the state of California, really any wind direction with a southerly or westerly component is going to drag in the smoke. So with a southwest wind, we're getting smoke from both directions. Once that wind direction shifts out of the southeast, which we expect next week, then things will start to improve a little bit. And our smoke forecast doesn't look too bad for the next several days. It's not going to be quite as thick, definitely not as thick as what they're experiencing in Reno, uh, but it's still going to be impactful. Still have that air quality that's unsens that is uh, unhealthy for sensitive groups, and you'll still notice that haze in the atmosphere. Tonight's temperature is falling to the 70s and 80s, so even our lows are starting to warm, and our highs continue their warming trend. 107 tomorrow in Mesquite, 101 in Pahrump, 114 tomorrow in Laughlin, a forecast high of 106 tomorrow in Las Vegas. We bumped that up to 107 both Friday and Saturday, so well above the seasonal average, but by Sunday we're beginning to cool off. If you're trying to escape the heat this weekend, should be a gorgeous one in the mountains. Friday, mid 80s, low 80s Saturday, and you notice that death storm chance popping in on Sunday. It takes us until Monday to get that storm chance here in the valley, uh, but we do see it. Monsoon moisture will drop temperatures back to the double digits. It should help to clear out some of the wildfire smoke, and it also uh, adds in those isolated storm possibilities through the middle of next week. All right, we'll keep an eye.